Welcome back to SHOT Show 2022. I'm Angela Blair, and there's still plenty of time to make sure that you don't miss out the best that SHOT Show has to offer. One stop that you'll definitely want to make is to the NSSF Member Services booth located just outside Hall C on the second floor. Here you can explore all of the benefits of being a member. And to talk more about that is John McNamara, the Director of Member Services. John, tell us what are the benefits of joining as a member? So there's so many different benefits uh, that, that our industry can enjoy by becoming a member. And you know, I think some of the top stuff is what we do on the legislative front. So we're out there making sure that our industry can stay in business and they can be strong and grow. Uh, so the folks on our GR team do a fantastic job to make sure that there aren't pieces of legislation that are coming at us that are they're going to damage our industry. But you know, outside of, of those legislative issues, which are critical, there's a lot of immediate benefits that folks can use to help on their everyday issues in their business, like credit card processing, point of sale systems, um, finding access to the equipment they need to run their facilities. So uh, there's also tools and programs that can help them attract new customers and also maintain healthy regulatory compliance, which if you're not doing that well, could, could eventually revoke your, your FFL, which could put you out of business. So we really uh, do it all for these folks. And really it's just up to them to come down and chat with us and help us understand their needs and we can point them to something that's gonna help them. Wow, incredibly valuable. What are the different types of membership? So we have our patron memberships, which are those who contribute to the NSSF at the highest level and also enjoy some of the best perks here at SHOT Show. Uh, we have our retailer and range memberships, which is actually the largest base of members of the NSSF uh, because there are just a lot more ranges and retailers out there that make up the industry and they're really just the, the foundation of what we do. Uh, there's also media and there are also nonprofit organizations that make up our membership. Amazing. Okay, so if someone wants to join as a member, what do they need to do? Well, the simplest way is just to go to NSSF.org and join now. Um, but we encourage them to come down here to the member booth and speak with Samantha and Ann or myself, and we can get them signed up today. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. And if you have not become a member, what are you waiting for? <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you. be knocking on doors and trying to present information time and time again of the unlawful command influence, the prosecutor misconduct. You gave me strength to go on. So to my American family, thank you. 2010, I was convicted of a war crime. And they put a CID agent on the stand we're very proudly admitted to reaching out to a regional um, warlord. Please, folks, please look up the plight of Lieutenant uh, Clint Lawrence, Army uh, First Lieutenant. There are also some really beautiful products at SHOT Show this year. I'm Allison Crawford, Seattle Engraving Center, and I want to introduce you to Haisam Gamil. He is with Seattle Engraving Center, and you have a beautiful new product to tell us about. Thank you. Yeah, uh, so we we are the first company introducing a hand engraved and a diamond setting as a jewelry and the firearm. We make it as a luxury good. You can see that as well. Uh, we are the first one introduce a 24 karat gold and a 14 karat rose gold and the polymer pattern for us. So you can see this frame over here is an actually six hour polymer frame, but it's been treated with a 18 karat rose gold. The gun itself also is a handmade 100% with 20 karat diamonds set in these slides. And it's all covered with a 18 karat rose gold. It's gorgeous. Thank you. Yeah. I'm sure you've gotten a lot of comments about this. We did. We what did have people been saying? Uh, we had a lot of uh, dealers that we asked to, to have them and uh, introduce it to their clients and their market as well. Uh, people will love it. It's something new. 
especially for the females and the gun industry. A lot of females, they would like to have a, a firearm, but also be afraid of the firearm. Now when you had it to them as a jewelry, a luxury good jewelry, they can feel more comfortable to carry it. And it's kind of slowly introduced them to the firearm and feel how what we look for. And it's changing the firearm from just a firing arm as a competition, but also it's a luxury and it's antique and aluminum. And you treat all of your products like jewelry. Yes, we did. Yes, uh, my background is a jeweler and uh, a hand engraver. So when I started in the firearm, I realized that this business missing a luxury goods. So we decided to do that, as you can see in this one over here. Uh, and a lot of them is actually done as a jeweler, as your jewelry ring. And uh, so when you look in the screen, I was setting a diamonds. You can see the diamonds over there mm -hmm. and how we set it up on the metals like a jeweler. Wow, that's incredible. They're beautiful. And it's functional. Yeah. <laughs> 100%. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for talking with us thank about you. this. It's beautiful. Thank you. The NSSF Hall of Fame recognizes industry luminaries for their vision and leadership in strengthening the industry and expanding the shooting sports. They hosted a special ceremony to honor six new inductees to its Hall of Fame at the 2022 SHOT Show. Typically we induct folks to the Hall of Fame at the SHOT Show starting a couple of years ago. Last year, of course, there being no SHOT Show, we held the class of 21 for this year so we can be together and do this in person. Gerald W. Jerry Bursett, backed by degrees in metallurgical engineering, Jerry Bursett embarked on a career with Olin Corporation in 1965, from which he would rise to lead three of our industry's premier companies. The next inductee to the 2021 Hall of Fame is Arlen Cheney. Arlen Cheney succeeded Ted Rowe as chairman and served from 1986 to 1994. Having served on the original SHOT Show Creation Committee, he was always focused on growing the industry's great trade show. Finally, for the class of 2021, Jack Durrett. Jack Durrett was a longtime firearm industry leader and chairman of the NSSF Board of Governors during a critical and challenging time in industry history. He came into the industry with Michaels of Oregon, where he rose to become president, CEO, and chairman. We honor his memory with this induction into the NSSF Hall of Fame. He received recognition for his role in growing that family-owned business into a respected manufacturer and distributor of shooting sports accessories with sales in over 95 countries. Jack was elected to the NSSF Board of Governors in 1994 and served as chairman from 1998 to 1999. Sadly, Jack passed away in July of last year. The class of 22 inductees to the NSF Hall of Fame, leading off with J.B. Hodgson. J.B. has continued the legacy of Hodgson Powder Company, started by his father, and has helped grow into the preeminent supplier of gunpowder and replica black powder for hand loading and muzzle loading enthusiasts. Sue King has been immersed in shooting and hunting since the mid-1940s, and her decades of enthusiastic promotion of women's shooting helped lay the groundwork for the extraordinary growth we see today in women's shooting participation. Sue is a life member of the NRA, the Texas State Rifle Association, National Skeet Shooting Association, and Women's Shooting Sports Foundation, and has served on the board of directors of NRA, TSRA, NSSA, and the Katy Prairie Conservancy. In Sue's words, the support of NSSF for the Women's Shooting Sports Foundation made possible the fulfillment of my dream, and most important, created a place for women to belong. Welcome Sue King to the NSSF Hall of Fame. The next inductee to the Hall of Fame is Alan Mossberg. Alan Mossberg successfully continued the legacy his grandfather Oscar began more than 100 years ago when he founded O.F. Mossberg & Sons, <clears throat> the oldest American family-owned and operated firearms manufacturer. Serving as the company's president for more than half a century, his influence within the organization and across the industry has been widespread. Sadly, we lost Alan in November of last year, 
but we know that he would have been proud to see as many contributions to the industry and company he cared so much about recognized with his induction to the NSF Hall of Fame. Each new year brings new opportunities to serve others, lead by example, and light the way for those around you to earn their respect by becoming the top brand in new vehicle quality in the automotive industry. Start the new year with a lineup of Ram trucks built to serve. I'm Allison Croft. We're at Sky Firearms booth right now. Chris Serino is joining me to talk about some of the new products that you have this year at SHOT Show. Yeah, we have some new things coming out. It's very exciting for us. Um, we had our first range day yesterday and it was super successful. Uh -huh. So we're so glad to be here. So why? what made it so successful? Well, I'll tell you what, uh, we got new products that we launched and the crowds were just a little bit smaller. Mm -hmm. And so the steady flow was easy to manage with everything, everybody and everything we had worked great. So you have some of these new products. <laughs> Tell us about that. Absolutely them. do. So the first thing that everybody's been talking about since the last SHOT Show, which has been some time, is our DVG. Uh, it stands for David vs. Goliath. It is our entry pistol into the striker fired market. So this is one of them here. Now here to four, no one has seen them in colors. So Sky's been wildly popular for their colors on pistols, and you can see that we have a wide variety. I mean, they're all over the booth. We don't have everything right here, but this DVG is the first one anybody's seen in white, and you can get it in all the popular colors. One of the things that's also special about it is we're no longer shipping them with red dots mounted on them. So we've gone to a red dot ready configuration. So we retain the rear sight, we have a cover plate that is in a shield footprint because everybody wants to know what the footprint is for the red dot. So that's a shield footprint cut out and we have great colors. You have a lot of colors here. We have a lot of colors. And the colors and the price point is what makes this so popular. Right, MSRP on this specific pistol is 339 and so you're gonna see it around $300 on the market. So the other thing that we're really excited about is our CPX line has always been popular. I mean, it's it's the price point on these pistols. MSRP on the CPX is 269. That's MSRP. So, this is what we've been producing. The Sky CPX. This is a two. This is the latest greatest. This is our generation three. This is our new CPX three. So there's a lot of changes going on here. We've made a lot of uh, improvements and not just aesthetically, but you know, um, ergonomically friendly. We've made a lot of changes and we can get some aftermarket products on them now. So the CPX, we reduced the grip size. So front to rear, the reach is very different. We've added a piece of Picatinny rail to the front so people can put the popular lights and lasers on there. Um, <clears throat> the other thing about the grip is on our safety model, We've taken away the shroud. Some people complained about the shroud actually hitting into their knuckles while they were shooting. So we made the safety profile smaller and we got rid of the shroud. Some of the stippling is all new and people seem to really like it. Everybody liked it at the range. Going from there, we've got the trigger. The trigger is now metal. We used to have a, a plastic trigger. We now have a metal trigger and the engineers have clocked it six degrees rearward. So we've got reduced reach, we've got metal trigger. We've recut the slide. The slide is completely different from what it used to be. And you can see how we had that octagonal cut. So we've got a more modern looking slide on top, the square cut. It gives us a couple of opportunities. One is we've added the Roebuck quad lock, which is a self-indexing, self-centering type of method for putting the barrel in the same spot for every shot. So we get a little more accuracy out of that. <clears throat> It's also flat on top. Now we can cut for the, the G43 sights. So we got the Glock 43 sight cut. So if people want to change their sights, they can. Previously, they couldn't change the sights. And again, we're doing it with the red dot cutout configuration with the shield footprint. 
So you have a lot of new stuff. People need to come and check out this booth for yep, sure. Yep, so there's a lot of innovation going on at Sky. Great. Chris, thank you so much for talking with I'm me. I'm glad you were here. We appreciate it. We celebrate the outdoors. We cherish time with our loved ones. We thank those who taught us. And we pass it down to the next generation. We have a love affair with nature. We feed our families. We enjoy time with our friends and family. We are conservationists. We give thanks to God. We never miss a sunrise. We love this land. And we protect her. We are pursuit. We are pursuit. We are pursuit. And we deliver the outdoors. No matter how you look at it, this firearm is different. Meet the VRF-14, a truly one-of-a-kind, made-in-America firearm from RIA USA. The VRF-14 measures 26 inches in length, and of course, it's compatible with all VR Series 9 and 19 round mags. Add a foregrip and sling, and suddenly, you're the envy of everyone at the range. The VRF-14 from RIA USA. Just try not to stare. Introducing the STK-100, Rock Island Armory's first striker-fired pistol. Let's break it down. Chambered 9mm, it has 17-round capacity and a textured grip that's angled like a 1911 to give you more control. Here's the kicker. The STK-100 is compatible with most aftermarket parts. And unlike other striker-fired pistols, this one is made of metal. The STK-100, the advantages of metal for the price of polymer. Get yours. Make sure that you don't leave SHOT Show empty-handed. Sure, you've already grabbed a wealth of knowledge, a Rolodex full of new contacts, an encyclopedia of literature on the latest products, and memories to last a lifetime. But did you grab your official SHOT Show merchandise? Stop by one of our several SHOT Show store locations to get yourself a shirt, hat, backpack, or some other SHOT Show swag. After all, if you don't have a SHOT Show mouse pad, were you even really here? I'm Allison Croft at Absolute Machine Tools, and I'm here with Alex Cherbach to talk a little bit about what they have for you here at SHOT Show. Thanks for talking with us. Thanks, Allison. Really appreciate your time. So talk about this robot we have behind us. Absolutely. So we're showcasing today the Pressy Hole Force Spindle Gun Drill with a Mitsubishi Loadmate robot. Let's talk about first the machine. Let's talk about that first. So the machine is what actually makes barrel manufacturing. So we do all the way from a 22 barrel all the way up to a 50, 50 cal BMG barrel. So, and anything in between. So for that, those barrel manufacturing, this machine only does the actual drilling of the internals of the barrel. And this machine, the length of it's up to 30 inches and can also has a force spindle application. What's really great about these machines is it's extremely conversational, very easy to use and super intuitive for all of our customers. Now regarding the robot, this robot we have interfaced with our Pressy Hole gun drill, and it's very it's a very unique and innovative product because it's one of the very first robots we're showcasing with our Pressy Hole gun drill. 
And this robot goes up to 7 kg payload, which is roughly about, I'd say 14 pounds of payload. And then it goes to a reach of about 60 inches. And the robot's not running to currently at 100%, uh, but it is totally automated. And the great thing about this is it is the future of automation, because with these robots, there's zero part handling from the end user side. It's all done autonomously, and it really is the future with automation. And you've got some great things here at your booth this year. You have another uh, machine that's on the premises that's really cool. That's right, so we're actually doing these bulk carrier groups. We're making this on our QuickTech T8 hybrid, multi-axis lathe. So we're doing this complete in uh, one, one operation, and we're making this out of brass, but it's more or less the same as far as cycle time, maybe give or take a minute or so. But the, the really important thing is it's done completed, which a lot of customers really value because most customers have to handle the part at least more than one time to actually make it completed like this. And it's got to be cool for people to be able to come to your booth and see these machines as they work. Oh, absolutely. It's a, I think it really opens people's eyes to how people actually can manufacture what these machines can actually do. And a lot of people don't realize how much engineering, how much application, and how much manufacturing involvement goes into firearm manufacturing. Yeah, great. Alex, thank you so much for explaining it to us and showing this off. It's thank awesome. you so much, Allison. Thank really you. appreciate it. Start 2022 with a bang by easily selling your firearms online without the upfront cost. Guns.com is on the cutting edge of selling guns online, making it easier to get your inventory in front of a wider net of potential buyers. We are not only focused on increasing online sales, but on building a community with storefront dealers like you. When you partner with Guns.com, you get to outsource all the order processing to our team. Our sign-up process is quick and painless, taking only a few minutes. No contracts or long-term commitments. Guns.com has the fastest inventory upload process in the industry. Once you confirm inventory, we take care of the rest of the sales process from securing transferring FFLs to providing shipping labels. Visit us at booth 14152 to learn more about the easiest place to sell guns online. From education to products to networking, there are countless reasons to love SHOT Show. Here are just a few of the reasons that you said you love to be here. Well, SHOT Show has been a, a major networking capability. You're able to go out and network with people and meet people that you hear about. You have never really met them, so it's an opportunity to really um, learn what's new and exciting in the firearms industry and beyond. I love that everybody's just here being themselves. You have people in regular clothes, drinking coffee. I mean, you can tell it's family, family-owned businesses, people who really love what we do and love everything about the firearms world, safety, military, police. We're all here for the betterment of our safety and for our communities and for ourselves. Personal self-protection is so, so huge, and I think that we're doing a great job of keeping the momentum going forward. I really enjoy meeting up with old friends and people that I've known for 30, 35, 40 years, you know. The industry gets a shot in the arm and, and it, it kind of juices you up to go back and, and hit it again, you know, and really be aggressive in selling and pointing out what's new and what's, what's innovative. Just the variety of people, uh, the different uh, industries and manufacturing processes that they have. Uh, it's a new show for us, uh, so it's really opened the door to uh, Eastman to working with different companies uh, in this industry. I enjoy the opportunity to just establish relationships with not only other law enforcement but vendors and manufacturers around the country uh, to help us better do our job. The people. I like the people. The people have been amazing since I got to the hotel yesterday. Everybody. I mean I've met so many people. No one's a stranger here. No one's a stranger. So that's a fun thing. I like it because it kind of brings people together that normally wouldn't come together you know I'm getting to put names with faces and make those connections and I think that's what uh, the beauty of SHOT Show is is being able to bridge those connections actually you know reach out to the people you interact with without interacting with them. <laughs> I just love the atmosphere here right so um, if you're you know outdoors firearm related industry um, any type of um, any type of that um, industry that you're in it just is a it's just nice to be around kind of like-minded people um, and really have some, you know, intelligent conversations about different things that are here than, that come off different opportunities and networking opportunities. 
it's, it's an opportunity for us as, as an industry to get together collectively and, and not just see each other and, and spend time with one another, but to share ideas and, and get creative about what we might be able to bring to the market. In addition to that, it's, it's neat seeing the technology that's coming out, both on the finished goods side at the Expo, as well as here on some of the manufacturing sources. What I love about SHOT Show is it brings all these companies together. It, they're small companies, big companies. It gives them that exposure to network, get to know one another, one another and do business together. Otherwise, they would have never met or done business together. Because face to face, if you, if you really look at it, there are giant companies here and there are very small startup companies here. And they have that opportunity to face to face meet and collaborate and network. That's amazing. Lots of new product launches at SHOT Show 2022. I'm Allison Crawford, Daniel Defense, and we're going to talk right now with Matt Hunt about yep. some of the new products that you can see at this booth during SHOT Show. Thanks for talking with us. Thank you. Thanks so for what do you us. have new this year? Well, we have two primary launches this year at SHOT Show 2022. Um, we recently, in about a year and a half ago, uh, we launched a Delta 5 Pro, which is our bolt action uh, rifle. Uh, it originally came in a 24 and a 26 inch barreled version. Uh, this year, we're bringing it out um, with a 16-inch 308. Uh, the consumer market just wanted a more compact rifle, uh, bolt-action gun, allows the guys to run a suppressor a little more efficiently, not have quite a long of a rifle, and still carries plenty of distance and, and, and still honors the, the sub-half-minute accuracy that, that these guns are known for. So, um, been a big hit. We're glad to show it off. It's the first time the consumers have seen it this year. So what have they said when they've seen it so far? Well, they love it for one because so many people now are buying suppressors. So they love the fact that they can have a very accurate sub half minute gun and still run a suppressor and still be able to maneuver with it. Mm -hmm. You know, 26 inch barrel, you add another seven inches, it gets long. So um, this is a great package and one that uh, we think we're going to be very successful with both in law enforcement and commercial sales. Very cool. And then you have another new product we just launching Absolutely. here. Absolutely. So we launched, um, we've, Daniel Defense has been known for M4s for years. Um, one of the requests that we've gotten over the years is, why don't you build an ambidextrous lower receiver? So we have now the D4, the DD4R3 series. We have four different configurations. The one I'm holding is our standard 60, 16 inch model. Uh, you'll notice the rail looks fairly, fairly familiar. This is our R3 rail, uh, short for RIS-3. Uh, our RIS-2 RIS rail was very popular and, and, and we provided US military service for many years, the RIS-2. This is a new iteration. We've got an M-lock rail system. It still offers the same features to drop the lower half out and put a, a grenade launcher in for the military service. Um, but the M-lock feature is a, is a more modern feature. Again, we have this in the 16 inch, um, 14 and a half inch, uh, 11 and a half inch and 10.3 inch. Uh, so be on the lookout. You can check our website, DanielDefense.com, for the DD4 series rifles. Again, all ambidextrous and with our new RIS 3 rail on the weapon. So what have people said because you're just launching this at SHOT Show? So we are excited because this is a this is a very well-known, well-respected rail in the system. Um, the, the ambidextrous features are something that consumers have been asking for for years. So um, we're we're happy to be in the market with some other very, very uh, prominent vendors that are doing the same thing. We feel like we've done a great job on this and can't wait to, to get the feedback. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Matt, for talking with us and showing off your new products. We thank appreciate you. it. Thank you. 
Cordova is the leading 2A-friendly outdoor recreation buy now, pay later consumer financing solution, offering multiple financing options to shoppers with four payments, no interest, long-term financing, and 0% APR promotions. Whether you're a brick-and-mortar retailer, have an e-commerce store, or do your business on the road, Cordova has you covered with accessible financing options for your customers. Cordova merchants see up to a three-time increase in average order value, a 51% increase in overall sales volume, and a 72% increase in conversion rates. And Cordova is trusted by these industry leaders. Sign up with the leader in buy now, pay later financing for shooting sports to see what Cordova can do for your business. Visit us at booth number 41948 to get started. Cordova, think adventure. Eric from Best Tech US Service here with a rundown of Best Tech Knives. Best Tech is a worldwide company manufactured in China, but it doesn't stop there. Best Tech utilizes designers from around the world like All Stop Hell, Kombu, Hot Knife and Tool, and many, many others. And not to mention that they have service representation in Europe and in the United States territories. Best Tech uses steel from around the world, like for example, Fuller M390 from Germany. Not to mention US-based CPM steels and Micarta products from US-based sources. So Best Tech, truly a worldwide company. Best Tech commits to delivering the absolute finest knives, best action and value for what you get. Whether it's the BG budget line, BL mid-grade, BT premium knives, BFK fixed blades, and the Zin Care line of kitchen knives. Best Tech delivers high quality and value. So if you're interested in checking out Best Tech Knives, take a look at besttechknives.com. Best Tech Knives, simply the best. If you didn't already know, my SHOT Show TV co-host David is the president and founder of Safer USA, a Chicago-based firearms training school. He's also a regular contributor to various shooting publications, an NRA training counselor and instructor, and has way too many shooting certifications to list. I think it's an understatement to say that he is pretty well informed and well connected in this industry. So David, I want to turn the tables to just get your thoughts on this year's SHOT Show. First, what would you say is the mood in the industry given the pandemic? Well, I think it's interesting because um, there's, there's a big anti-gun swell going politically going on in this country yeah. where at the same time a lot of the courts are finding in favor of second amendment so there's that sort of friction going on and what you're seeing more and more of are people who maybe we haven't heard from much in the past are coming into the spotlight and they're going we need to defend the second amendment and and that's that's encouraging um, there's a sort of an upbeat feeling about we can do this if we all get together yeah, absolutely. What would you say are some of the overall trends that seem to be growing in the industry? Well, one of the things I noticed is there are more and more people who want to help other people get through the process. Like if you're an FFL, there's a number of organizations now that, that they can work with to help them get through that entire process. Um, training, there's a lot of training that's going on. In general, there's this sort of, we're all in this together you know, we'll teach you what we know to help you come yeah. along. That's very insightful and very interesting. So I, it's been really cool just to see so many people from yeah. around the world here come together. So David, it has been an absolute pleasure to co-host SHOT Show TV with you this week. And we look forward to seeing you and everyone else next year, January 17th through the 20th, right here. We will be back in Las Vegas for SHOT Show 2023. So for SHOT Show TV, he's David Lombardo. I'm Angela Blair, and we'll see you next year.